Hi there. In uh, this video, I'm going to demonstrate some new Explorer features in Script Debugger 7. If you've used Script Debugger 6, you may know that you've always been able to manipulate the value of properties in objects. So for example, here in the Finder, I'm looking at folder C, which is this folder right here, and I can uh, manipulate the comment string. And you'll see that the change appears here in the info panel for that folder. And if I go back and take it away, the string goes away. But new in uh, Script Debugger 7 is the ability to manipulate objects themselves. So I'll hide the properties, and we'll look inside folder A, and here we see that there are some files. And these two files here correspond to these two files here. If I drag a file from folder A to folder B, Script Debugger wants to know if we can move it. I say yes, and you'll see that that's what happens in the Finder. I can also hold the Option key down and drag this file to folder C, and Script Debugger offers to copy it for me. And so now a copy has been made. So we'll move this back and clean up, get rid of this one. I can also drag entire collections. So hold the Option key down and drag the files from folder A to folder C, and it copies it. I can also drag the entire folder, so I'll drag folder A into folder B, and it copies folder A. And if I like, I can delete things, so I can select it, push the delete key, and delete that item, and I can delete the items in folder C, same way, push the delete key. But there's more. So if I create a window, a script window, and I begin recording. So I'll start it recording, and we'll just move this up so you can see what's going to happen. I'll go through the same exercise again. So I'm going to copy uh, these files to folder B, and you can see that the copy command shows up, the duplicate command, I should say, shows up in the script below. And then I'll copy the folder itself into folder C. And then I can delete the items in folder C and uh, delete this item from folder B and delete this item from folder B. And so now if I bring the script up and I stop recording, if I use trace, which executes the script slowly, I can actually see now that copied the files, copied the folder, deleted the folder, delete the file, delete the file. So there you see how Script Debugger's Explorer lets you experiment with objects in pretty much any application and even generate AppleScript co code corresponding to what you're doing. So there you go. Thank you for watching.